Uh, so Skye is really, really small, um, which means that we're quite nimble and fleet of foot. And when you pitch to the drama department, you really are pitching to me or one of the commissioning editors. And then I get involved because I'm terribly overly, my fingers are in all pies. Um, and then we talk to a channel head. So there's a channel head for each of the five Sky channels. Um, and that is exactly, that's just how a show gets commissioned. It's a conversation between me and a channel head. When somebody pitches an idea to us, actually, people shouldn't worry too much about the channel they think it will end up on because I can make that decision. Otherwise, I don't have a job, really. Um, and, they, and they work on a sort of continuum in as much as at a very popular end, a mainstream end, you have Sky One and Sky Living. And at a less mainstream end, you have Sky Arts and Sky Atlantic. But then all of them feel like Sky Channels to me. They all feel like they're forward thinking. They all feel like they're quite contemporary. They all feel like they're quite fun. They all feel that they're quite bold and that they sort of take the best ideas from the UK and then give them space. And so that's consistent across all the channels. But then there's a sort of tonal range between them. So for a writer to get stuff noticed by us, they really need to go in via an agent or a production company. Um, just because the point of having no layers means that we've got a really small team, but having a really small team means that we're vastly overworked. Um, so we can't, we, can't we can't look at unsolicited scripts from everybody. We just wouldn't get through it. We'd never get back to people. And getting back to people really quickly, I think, is really important. Whereas if it comes filtered through an agent or a production company, it's just that one step further down the line, so it just, it just takes out a layer of responding to people that we just don't have time for. So go through a production company that you love, and go through a production company that makes shows that you like, because I think that actually people forget that. Don't go to production companies that don't make shows you don't like, because they'll mess your show up. We need to mark out clear blue water between us and the, the non-pay channels, so we need to feel like we look to the future. So. You know, I probably, you know, the minute that Downton is a brilliant show, but the million, minute that Downton is on ITV, it means that I can't really do anything that's like Downton. I need to look at what's the next step on from Downton. Um, and what's amazing at the moment is that's really hard to do because all the drama channels are doing brilliant work. Um, but so oddly for Sky, everything feels tired unless we're the first people doing it. <laughs> we, we need to, at Sky, we either need to be first or biggest, basically. So, and first, first, when I think about what it means to be first in drama, it's it's so, it's something as small as um, Hill Street Blues changed crime drama forever, in my opinion. And it wasn't that it turned it upside down and had aliens coming from the sky. It's just that it, in in the way it was directed, in the way that it was approached, it moved the genre on. And so that's what I would love Sky to be. The joy of writing is you can't make mistakes. And when your show is rejected by somebody like me, it's only because I haven't had the insight to see how brilliant you are. It's not because your show is bad. So possibly that's a mistake that young writers sometimes make, is that they think that their one epic, beautiful piece is the one epic, beautiful piece. And actually, they probably need five epic, beautiful pieces so that they don't feel the tragedy of any individual one of them. But yeah, I don't think writers make mistakes. I think producers make mistakes. I think British drama is brilliant, I really genuinely do. I think, but I think American drama is brilliant as well. Um, and I think, that, I think the world's getting smaller so that actually we're pulling influences from all around. So I don't think it's one versus another. I do genuinely feel that drama needs to evolve. And I feel really strongly that actually, the really, that drama often is in its same box all the time and I love the idea that we start to look at form and content in the same way that Factual does a lot. So I think In Treatment does it. I think that um, Ben's got a new show called Murder that's coming out that, that is all species to camera to tell a murder story. I think that does it. I think, I think there's real room to innovate in form and structure and drama and we don't do it very often and we can look to Factual to sort of learn some of the lessons that they've learned, or improvised drama like the stuff that Dominic Savage does. I think all of that's really exciting. So I think we should, use, we should see what Factual does in the space of drama as a really interesting challenge to evolve ourselves, rather than just because they're doing it, we can't do it. We can do it better with drama. <laughs>